Hello, this is Dr. Mears. Today we're going to be solving systems by elimination, moving x term to other side. So what you're going to find is we're going to have 1 in y equals mx plus b form and 1 in standard form ax plus by equals c form. So we're going to have to move the variable, the x variable, over to one side. So let's see how we do this. Let's look at number 1. y equals 4x minus 1. 6x minus 5y equals negative 9. So this one is in our y equals mx plus b form, which is slope intercept. This one is in our ax plus by equals c form, which is standard form. In order to use elimination, we need to make sure that our x variables and our y variables line up. And it doesn't here. See, there's an equal sign here and there's a plus sign here. It, just, it doesn't work. So we're going to have to take this first equation that's in slope-intercept form, and we're going to have to move over the x variable. So I'm going to rewrite it as y equals 4x minus 1. And how I move it over, I look, this is positive here, so I'm going to subtract it by both sides, negative 4x, negative 4x. That's out. This y has a positive sign that likes to disappear, so I'm going to put a plus sign because all I need to do right now is just rewrite it, negative 4x, plus y equals negative 1. So my 4x is out of there, brought over to the other side. I just wrote it down, negative 4x, brought down my plus y, brought down my equal sign, and brought down my negative 1. And so that's how you move the x term to the other side. Now I'm going to make a little squiggly line here because I am going to be rewriting this so we can do elimination. I'm going to rewrite the top, which was negative 4x plus y equals negative 1. And now I'm going to rewrite that second equation directly underneath 6x minus 5y equals negative 9. So now I'm ready to use elimination. So what I'm looking for, remember again, is same number opposite signs, snows. So I look here, opposite signs, positive and negative, but the numbers aren't the same. Okay, let's look at the y variables. Positive and negative, awesome. I'm going to put a 1 in here there is a number and it's the number one so I'm going to put it in one and five so I have opposite signs this would be nice and easy to turn into a five by multiplying it one times five so that's what I'm actually going to do to get the same number opposite signs so I'm going to multiply this this and this I'm going to rewrite it underneath so I'm going to multiply five times negative four and I get negative 20x five times one y and I get positive five y and 5 times negative 1, which is going to be negative 5. My 6x minus 5y is going to stay equals negative 9. So now I'm ready to rock and roll with adding. And I'm also ready to cross out my y variable because they have the same number but opposite signs. And I can add negative 20x plus 6x gives us negative 14x. Negative 5 plus negative 9 also gives us a negative 14. Dividing both sides by negative 14 because we want to move this 14 over to the other side to solve for x. And I'm going to get x equals positive 1. I have x. I need y. So I'm going to go back to my first original equation, which is this one up here, y equals 4x minus 1. Remember, I always return back to my first. You can pick any one you want, but... To keep it consistent, I like to go with the first one that my eyes lay, my, my eyes see. So y equals 4x minus 1. I know that my x is 1, so I'm going to input that 4x. y equals 4 times 1 minus 1. So y equals 4 minus 1. y equals 3. Sorry, move it down a little bit. So I have my x. I have my y. Let's write it in an ordered pair because this is where they're going to cross. Circle it because that is my answer. Let's try number two. Number two, 6x plus 4y equals negative 6. y equals 2x plus 16. Again, this one is in ax plus by equals c. This one is in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to have to move that one over. y equals 2x plus 16. In order to move it over, it is uh, positive here, so we're going to subtract it from both sides. This is originally a plus, so now I'm just going to write down negative 2x plus y equals, that's out, 16. I'm ready to rock and roll. This is in standard form, so I'm going to draw a line. 6x plus 4y was my 
top equation, 6x plus 4y equals negative 6. Now I'm going to write down the one that I just put into standard form. I'm going to put a 1 in front here because there was no number. Now I'm ready to go with looking for same number opposite signs to use elimination. Now notice, slope-intercept form was on top here, slope-intercept form was on the bottom. It doesn't matter anywhere, e either one that you have to change. What I like to remember is just if this is on the bottom here, the, I'm going to put it on the bottom here. It's just You can do it either way, but it helps keep everything consistent. All right, same number, opposite signs. These are opposite, but not the same number. These are not opposite, and these are not the same number. So I can really pick any one. I'm actually going to pick the x's to eliminate because this is a 6 and this is a negative 2. Since it's already opposite signs, I just have to multiply by 3 to make this into negative 6. So I'm multiply, multiply, multiply. I'm going to rewrite the top on top. 6x plus 4y equals negative 6. So notice, it was on top, I kept it on top, it's still on top. Now I'm going to multiply. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6x. 3 times 1, top, 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 top. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6x. 3 times 1 is positive 3y equals, and now oh, there's the lights, 16 times 3 is going to be 48. So, 3 times negative 2, 3 times 1, 3 times 16. The add here, these cross out. Let's add 4y plus 3y gives us 7y. And negative 6, don't forget this negative, please watch out, plus 48 is going to give us a 42. We are going to divide both sides by 7, and we're going to come out to y equals 6. I have my y, I need my x, so I'm going to go back to this original equation. Again, I usually just write down the first one. 6x plus 4y equals negative 6. 6x plus 4y equals negative 6. I'm going to put my 6 into that y. So 6x plus 4 times 6 equals negative 6. And now I'm going to continue with my algebra. Hoping I don't run out of room. 6x plus 24 equals negative 6. Multiplication. Minus 24 from both sides. 6x equals negative 30, divide both sides by 6, x equals dun 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 dun, negative 5, I have my x, I have my y, let's write it down in the ordered pair, negative 5, 6, put a circle around it because that is my answer. This has been Solving Systems by Elimination, must move x term to the other side. Uh, went kind of fast, so if you'd like a new sheet and if you want to do the video all over again, you can. Let me know. I'm here to help. Thank you.